For the past three years, I've been running at least one 3D printer seven days a week, pretty much 365. And I'm sure everyone knows I've had some amazing successes and some horrible failures. And about six months ago, I had a crazy idea for resin 3D printing, just trying to figure out, would this work? So I contacted my friends over at Elegoo who make this Elegoo Saturn and asked them, do you think this idea is feasible? Instead of just having one vat and one build plate, could you divide this vat in two and 3D print two different colors on each side with two different build plates going up and down inside the vat? And then three months later, this package shows up and it has my idea fully built out. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. So essentially what happened is that one of the engineers just really liked the idea and took it upon himself to build it and bring it to life. Okay, here looks like the double vat. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, that is cool. And there's already a FEP installed. So here we have the double vat that I'm gonna be able to use on my Elegoo Saturn. So with this, I'm gonna be able to print two different colors in each vat. I could maybe print the same exact thing in each one, maybe something different on each, but it should be interesting to experiment with it. Let's go ahead and put this aside for now. Okay, this right here is looking like the top of the build plate. Oh no, it's the entire build plate, duh. I'm gonna get this guy cut open as well. Okay, it looks like we've got some hardware down here. We've got the mounting plates and then all of the screws that I'm not quite sure what those go to. But then we have the actual double build plate itself. Let's get the satisfying peel off. It is looking extremely rugged and very strong. And just like on the double vat, we've got two different build plates and those should line up and go right into each vat. So let's go ahead and get this build plate installed and leveled on our Elegoo Saturn. All right, we've got a double vat and we've got a double build plate. Let's take the original build plate off of here and slide on our brand new double build plate. It should slide on nice and smoothly. We'll spin that on there. And then we can swap out our regular single vat and replace it with our brand new double vat. And just like before, it drops right into place. Wait, 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 wait. I need to level the build plate before I attach our brand new double vat. So we'll take the build plate off and take the vat out. And the one quick thing we need to do is replace the Z switch trigger or whatever it's called. That's what I'm gonna call it. So as the build plate typically goes down, this little rod triggers the Z switch. And since we have some additional space here on the build plate, we just need to replace that Z switch with this longer one. And we are back in action, ready to get everything set up for our very first print on the double vat printer. I got the new double build plate installed and successfully leveled. I set up the Z switch rod and I got our double vat in place and screwed into the Saturn. And there's just one slight tweak we need to make inside of our computer before we hit print. On our slicer, we need to take into account the Z height that we lost from this additional space on the build plate. So if we go ahead and hop into Cheetubox, go to our settings and everything will stay the same except the Z height is now gonna change from 200 down to 160. And mainly because I just finished it last night, the very first test print I'm gonna do on this printer are two little Squid Game characters. I think they're gonna look perfect. And we're gonna be using some classic white Elegoo resin. Classic white Elegoo resin. But of course we're gonna add a twist because that would be extremely boring for this double vat system. On the left side, we are just gonna have the classic white Elegoo resin. But on the right side, we're gonna add some blue pigment to the white resin. So we'll have white resin and we'll have blue resin. So let's go ahead and just do a couple drops of blue resin in there. Give it a nice stir to really mix it up. Here's a comparison between our blue and our white. So let's get printing. It's 
the next morning and our prints are fully finished. And I was trying to think of a name for this printer setup because I got so tired of saying double vat, double build plate and all that stuff. And Elegoo names all of their printers after a planet. So I was thinking we could call this whole system the Pluto because it's like kind of a planet, but not really. And this sort of exists, but it kind of doesn't. So I think Pluto is going to be the perfect name for this whole get up. And that's the other thing is I don't really know if Elegoo has any plans of actually selling the system. Maybe if this video blows up and a lot of people like it, they'll actually start selling it. So share this video, comment, like on it. Let me know what you think of this whole setup of the Pluto and maybe they'll actually make it. But look at those prints. They came out wonderful. Let's take them off the build plate. Let's first get rid of a little bit of the excess resin here. Let's screw this off. Ah! But let's slide it off and see how these actually look. I am extremely happy with how these both came out. I really was not anticipating a fully successful print on the first go. And I'm not seeing any quality issues using the Pluto system. It all looks like a regular print to me. But let's get them off of the build plate and double check that. They're finished and cleaned up, so let's zoom in a little bit. Overall, I'm super happy with how these models came out. All of the detail is definitely there, and I can't really tell a difference between one or the other. They are so cute, even if they're getting ready to kill you while playing Squid Game. I'll put a link down in the description for this guy if you want to print it out. But what are we thinking about the Elegoo Pluto? I almost forgot what it was called. <laughs> so is the Pluto system a novelty? Probably. Is it practical on all fronts? No. Some of the issues you're gonna run into is you can only print the resin on each side. You can't change the exposure time depending on which side you're printing on. So that could be a little tricky. I also haven't quite figured out how I'm going to empty the resin from the vats out of there. I might need to create some sort of lid or something like that. One thing that would be really fun to do is start your print and then maybe halfway, take the vat out, spin it around. So then the bottom half is blue, top half is white, and then the other one, the bottom half is white and top half is blue. That could be kind of fun to test out. I'm definitely gonna be putting this thing through its paces to test it out, what's possible, what's not possible, but it's a fun proof of concept and it actually worked. Go figure. I heard that Mr. Beast is gonna be doing his very own squid game. Go figure. I think that is all I have for today on the Elegoo Pluto. That is kind of hard to say. Elegoo Pluto. El Elegoo Pluto. Elegoo Pluto. But I'm gonna go play some children's games. Hopefully I won't get killed, but I'll see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya.